Assalamualaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shobhan Madhav. Again here with another informative video related to the electrical machines and the MATLAB simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the DC shunt generator on the MATLAB software. So before doing this experiment, let's discuss some few points regarding the DC shunt pump generator. In a DC shunt generator, the field winding is connected in parallel with the armature winding so that the terminal voltage of the generator is applied across it. The shunt wheel winding has so many turns of the fine wire having the high resistance. The partial armature current flows from and through the shunt wheel winding and the rest of the current flows through the load. In a DC shunt mode generator, the shunt wheel current is the ratio of the terminal voltage divided by the resistance of the shunt wheel winding. The armature current in the DC shunt mode generator is equal to the sum of the load current plus shunt field current and the power developed in the armature in the case of the DC shunt mode generator is the product of the generated EMF multiplied by the armature current and the power delivered to the load in the case of the DC shunt mode generator is the product of the terminal voltage multiplied by the load current. So dear viewers, without wasting time, let's do the simulation of the DC shunt mode generator on the MATLAB software. So dear viewers, our main objective of this experiment is to implement the circuit diagram of the DC shunt generator connected with the load on the MATLAB software. So in the DC shunt mode generator, the field winding is connected and parallel with the armature winding so that the whole terminal voltage of the generator is applied across it. As you can see, this is the field winding and this is the armature winding in the case of the DC shunt generator, both are connected in parallel. The shunt field winding has so many turns of the fine wire having the high resistance. As you can see, this is the armature winding and in which the armature current is flowing and the current is divided into the two parts. The current which is flows through the shunt field winding, so that can be called as the shunt field current and the current which is flowing towards the load so that will be called as the load current so if we want to find out the armature current in the case of the DC shunt generator so that it will be the sum of the load current plus shunt field current so the partial armature current is flows from and through the shunt field winding and rest of the current is flows towards the load now in the case of the shunt mode generator the shunt current is equal to the division of the terminal voltage divided by the R shunt and the current which is flowing in the armature is equal to the sum of this load current plus shunt field current. The power developed in the armature is the product of the generated EMF in the armature multiplied by the armature current and the power delivered to the load in the case of the DC shunt bone generator it is the product of the terminal voltage multiplied by this load current. So dear viewers, we have to implement this DC shunt mode generator circuit diagram connected with the load on the MATLAB software. So go to the power library. We need series RLC branch. We need ground. We need DC machine. We need current measurement. We need voltage measurement. We need bus selector. We need constant block, we need gain block, we need product block, we need display. So this is the DC shunt generator. Go to the properties of the DC machine, mechanical input as a speed W, apply, ok. So now this is the armature winding and this is the field winding. So now connect the armature winding is in parallel with this field winding. So connect the load with the armature winding in the case of the DC shunt generator. Okay. Now connect the field winding in parallel with the armature winding. So this is the DC shunt wound generator. Okay. So now if you want to measure the load current in the case of the DC shunt generator so by connecting the emitter in series with the load so this emitter will give us the reading of the load current and this display will give us the value of the load current IL in the case of the DC shunt wound generator. So if you want to measure the terminal voltage in the case of the DC shunt generator so by connecting the voltmeter in parallel across the load so this voltmeter will give us the 
terminal voltage in the case of the DC shunt wound generator. And this display will give us the value of the terminal voltage in the case of the DC shunt wound generator. So now connect the measurement board of the DC shunt wound generator with the bus selector. Go to the bus selector properties, select speed WM radian per second, select the armature current, select the field current, apply. So here from the output of this bus selector, the speed is in terms of the radian per second. So if you want to measure the speed in terms of the RPM, so one radian per second is equal to the 9.55 RPM. So the function of this gain block is to convert the value from the radian per second into the revolution per minute. So the function of this gain block is convert the radian per second value into the RPM. And this display will give us the speed in terms of the revolution per minute or the RPM. And this display will give us the value of the armature current in the case of the DC shunt generator which is IA. And this display will give us the value of the field current IF in the case of the DC shunt mode generator. So now the function of this product block is here to give us the value of the power delivered to the load. So the formula for calculating the power in the case of the DC shunt generator is the product of the terminal voltage multiplied by the load current. So from the output of this product block, we will get the power delivered to the load. So formula for calculating the power is the product of the terminal voltage multiplied by the load current IL. So if we want to run the DC shunt mode generator on the 3000 RPM, so the speed in the terms of the radian per second will be the 315 radian per second. Apply, okay. The load resistance is 100 ohm. So now our circuit is ready for the simulation. Run the simulation and observe the results of the different parameters like the speed in terms of the RPM, the armature current, the field current, the terminal voltage, the load current and the power delivered to the load in the case of the DC shunt mode generator connected with the load. Run the simulation. So now this is the speed in terms of the RPM is the 3000 RPM and this is the armature current in the case of the DC shunt generator which is 8.725 ampere and this is the field current which is IF in the case of the DC shunt mode generator which is 0.3011 ampere and this is the terminal voltage which is 842.4 volts. And from the output of this product block, we are getting the power delivered to the load, which is the product of the terminal voltage multiplied by the load current. And the value of the power which we are obtaining from the output of this product block is 7096 watts. And the load current in the case of the DC shunt wound generator, here we are obtaining is 8.424 ampere. So in the case of the DC shunt mode generator, the load current is the difference of this armature current and the shunt field current. So here the armature current is 8.725 minus field current is 0.3011 ampere. And again, we are getting the same value of the load current, which is the 8.424 in the case of the DC shunt wound generator. So dear viewers, this was the experiment of the DC shunt wound generator connected with the load that we have done on the MATLAB software. So dear viewers, this was the simulation of the DC shunt wound generator that we have done on the MATLAB software in which we have observed the results of the different parameters like the armature current, the shunt field current, the load current, the terminal voltage and the power delivered to the load in the case of the DC shunt wound generator. I hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last, do subscribe my YouTube channel Shwebe Madayo for more informative videos related to the electrical machines, electrical engineering and the MATLAB simulation. Thank you.